Hey guys, Bryce Alfred, and welcome to the town of Baron. This is Final Fantasy 2. I never bothered to actually check this place out at all. Locked. Well, that sucks. Hey, Wizard Man. Well, that sounds more like the king that we were coming in contact with, don't it? Sure do. Sure do. What do we got in here? Yeah. Hey, lady, what's going on? Uh, that's not good. Who's your dad? <gasps> no! They've killed Sid. Those bastards. How dare they kill that bushy bearded bundle of joy that is Sid. Let's go down the well. No, I can't throw myself down the well. I must rescue the town of Baron. And the kingdom of Baron at that. Oh, it's a soldier. Hi, buddy. Oh. Well, I didn't listen to crap, but I'm doing just fine. Yeah, Sid indeed was arrested. Well, that is what the French call Le Poop knows. Hey, hey, no, no, stop. A karate man? Huh. Interesting, but I'm sure fine. Wow, that's locked. They've locked up the weapons and armor. That seems a little insano to me. How do I get over this area over here? Is it like in the water? Is there like a secret passage or some junk? You can just go down all three waterfalls. I thought it was only one. Oh, that's what I know. Absolutely nothing. All that grass and nothing to pass. How are we doing here? How are we doing? Well, we should be full. I mean, we have to fight through a dungeon. I guess we can go check the inn. There's really not much else we can do in town right now. Alright, well, let's go check out the inn. Anything going on in the inn? And it doesn't look like a whole lot over here. Hey, buddy, what's going on? No, I'm good. I don't need to stay. I'm fine. What's this say? <laughs> Great dancers. Well, it's good to have uh, wants and needs and shablamo and, you know, let's grab ourselves some stuff. Pretty typical fare. Uh, that, uh, that's interesting. That's interesting over there. Hey, you're a little young to be in here, aren't you? Oh, your dad owns the place. Why well, aren't you special? They're acting terrible in here. It's pretty goofy. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. He hid the latest airship. boy, Sid. They're not weapons. Well, let's see what's going on with these guys. Um, do I look like a dancer? Who are you? Huh? <laughs> I'm Squiggy. That's who I am. Uh, this guy looks familiar. What's going on? <laughs> it's me, Cecil. I became a paladin. He sounds really dumb. Like that's that's what he leads off with. Not, oh my God, you're alive and you're okay. Get him. <laughs> oh, apparently paladin is Yang's trigger word. My God. Oh God, this is ridiculous. All right, so these guys love casting size. It's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain. Thankfully they didn't attack Cecil, because when you were size down like that, which one is size? Is size one of these? Yeah, it is. Fight, Cecil, fight! <laughs> oh god, poor Cecil! Well, I got bad news for Cecil. He's stuck like that. This should make the next cutscene hilarious, though. <laughs> Me. I know that! Now I'm going to kill a small child and or midget. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that is just, that's the best. This is the freaking best. I love it. <laughs> Oops, I want to go with white. No, no, whoa. There we go. <laughs> never not be funny. Why is Yang not doing anything? Does Twin do nothing to this guy? It seems like that may actually not do anything to him. Yeah, it looks like you might have to physically hit him to get him to react. Wow, that's annoying. Huh. I'm not sure of the triggers in this battle, to tell you the truth. But since the Twin was doing nothing, I'm just going to whack him in the face and see what that does. See if that'll trigger his uh, kicking ability. I gotta reorganize these spells. <laughs> that might be a good use of my time, actually, in the future. I keep waiting for him to answer back here, but it doesn't seem like he wants to. I am not 100% sure. I'm pretty not sure what's happening. Well, let's twin him again then. Teach him a lesson and gosh, 
Okay, now he's gonna sneeze. He's doing a fair amount of damage. Not an insane amount, but a fair amount. Ouch! Okay, good. I'm not sure what was up with that. I expected him to attack more than that. See, I thought it was a scripted thing, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Someone in the know will tell me in the comments, no doubt. Leviathan attacked, yeah. Amnesiac, oh my. Thank goodness we beat him to rat shit. They're dead. Wait, she was swallowed by Leviathan. Well, she's definitely dead. Hmm. Oh, that's true. We did just murder two soldiers. We should probably get the hell out of here. Plus, we have the, the leader of the, uh, the guard in hand. Who's going to be cruising around with us in a kingdom that seems to be all, like, bad at us and junk. <laughs> Stay at my inn. I know more are coming and they're going to trash it. So, there's no point to sell you some beds because we're dead. Night. Friggin' Palum. Aww. Karate Master. <laughs> you heard it, man. Great, great. Yang doesn't need that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, we should get Sid, because he has an airship. That sounds amazing. That's what we need. We can make it! We can make it if we try! I'm pretty sure that won't make it onto the uh, Baron Top 100, that's for sure. Gonna get a Meanwhile? No. I'm not sure when the next Meanwhile happens, actually. It'll be a little bit, I think, yet. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here. Yang, Yang in the front with his 674. What's he got? Nothing. Well... I guess I'm going to have to uh, go buy him some new equipment because apparently when he got picked up by them, like, you're going to be the head of our guards. You know what you don't need? Other than just a leather jerkin, nothing. Can I still not get in here? Oh, I have to use the freaking key to get in. That is obnoxious. Yeah, everyone, get weapons. Storm the castle. And make sex and have chocolate. All right. Uh, can I get two thunders? Thunder and an ice? Uh, get two of those. I really don't feel like buying them crap. Okay, alright. So, let's take a look at what we got. We can just give him an iron one to save a bit of cash. I mean, he doesn't need to have a silver one. The silver one's really more for, uh, it gives good defense, but it also ups your, like, wisdom and will and jumpity jump and crunkity crunk. So, yeah, those are words I used, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, what do we got here? We got a headband and a karate and a silver. Well, that's obnoxious, but I might be able to... Yeah, now I'm out of cash. Yeah, well, what can you do? Nice, it even ups his attack power. That's beautiful. That's one thing this game I do love is when it does that sort of thing. And there we go. Now we have enough. I, was, I did want to sell one of my iron rings. I was feeling pretty good about life, so... Alright, so we are up against it uh, money-wise, but that's okay. I'm feeling alright about life. We haven't really had to dip too bad into our found stuff, and I've bought a few cures and things, so we can make we can make it if we try, guys. That that's the take-home message to have, and it's a good take-home message. It's a real good take-home message. It's a message that makes you say to yourself, "Son of a gun in a bun," and it's all fun. So, uh, where do, where's this place here? Is it this one? It must be this one. This one I don't think I think was locked. No, it wasn't. So where is the place? I've lost my mind. I mean, what little that I had left is just gone whoop, right out the side of my brain. We came out of there. It must be this one then. All right. I'm back on the trolley. Whoa. 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 Let's just stop that right now and see what's going on. Uh, well, that's cool. What do we got over here? Thousand gold. Good. <laughs> we needed some gold. <laughs> Alright, the old water dash way. I want to go this way. Never understood that, but anyway. Yeah, I don't remember this place being the worst place in the world, but it's it's got some enemies in it that kind of suck. Alright, 
So, we'll probably avoid... Wow, that's pretty weak sauce. Oh no, double attack, man! Jeez, I'm not nice. Nice! Thunderclaws do a lot of damage. They're pretty great. They're oofing great, as some people would say. Fight, Tella, fight! Oh, he didn't help. <laughs> I just want to see if the Thunderclaws will really help with this. Stop that! At least you missed that time. He's really got a poor him yang sort of boner over there. It's kind of annoying. Kind of real annoying. Alright, so it's going to be one of those, huh? Alright. Let's uh, get a little Lit 2 action going in here, then. Bye, buddy. Hope you enjoy being Toast Ella Ghost. You probably will enjoy being Toast Ella Ghost, incidentally. Ah, never mind. Never mind. We took him out. We took him out. We cut him down. We cut him down to size. We want a cap. Ooh. Not good, but yay. Wow, that was fast. Oh, look at you guys. You're adorable. Ah, cure one now. We're just rolling in the enemy wins. You can win some really nice equipment in this game from various enemies. There is actually legit some good stuff to win, but the odds are pretty minimal. Cecil gains a level. Yeah, he'll still gain levels. Not like he was, but he will gain some levels. An ether. Ooh la la. Ethers are valuable commodities. Until later in the game when money becomes a lot less irrelevant. You know, till that point. Does this go somewhere fun? No, it's just, just here. It's kind of annoying. Why would that even be there? Doesn't make a lick of sense. Alright, we got more of this good old same here, apparently. Stop that. Alligator and crocodile in the same place. That's insanity. I don't think I can get behind this. Okay, that guy in the back, apparently, doesn't like getting punched in the noggin. Could you guys cut that out? Can you stop hitting me? That'd be nice. More of the same. You guys know what these guys look like, so you don't need to stay here and watch the moita, do ya? Do you really? Yang gets a level. Nice. Yang needs all the levels he can get, honestly. Alright, I just gotta do a quick little bit of healing. Because my people are feeling down in the dizzy dumps. And that is not where you need your people. You need them to be out of the dizzy dumps and in a place that gives them lots of mops. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to. I'm beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, Cecil. People lethal. When are you going to learn yourself some better magic? I mean, his magic in battle is essentially a waste of time, because he only ever learns a couple low-level heal spells, and the rest is pretty garbagey. But, he makes for great waste that uh, when you're dungeon crawling. Uh, it's useful for that, anyway. Again, guys, really, this is the game we're going to play. A level for Palum, and a level for Porum. Berserk. Really not that useful. And Cecil on the board again, because he just needs to get his hit points rammed through the roof. He is pretty great for that. He is pretty spectacular. He's actually getting a decent amount on those heals. I'm so sh mildly shocked. Oh, that was a waste. Mildly shocked here at him and how well he's gaining. It's actually pretty impressive. All right. Let's move on. This place is taking forever to crawl. It's like, why? Why would you do that? Uh, I'm not sure which way I want to go here, to be truthful. Crocky deals. Alright, let's see. This is probably where I want to go, right? Maybe? Hard to say. Uh, let's go back up and check this one just to be sure. It probably is a shortcut over to the exit of this floor, but... Ooh, Hydra, something new. These guys might drop something decent. My memory seems to tickle of some sort. These guys might have something on the go. Pretty weak sauce guys, though. That's to put it lightly. Oh, no, don't hit Cecil, the guy who can just absorb your hits and larf at you. He just goes, larf -ity larf 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 That was much better damage that time. He needs a better sword. For being a legendary sword, it's pretty crudtacularly weak. I'm not going to lie about it. It's pretty weak. The sauce is weak when it comes to that sword. So that's just a pretty basic enemy, it looks like. I didn't see anything special in there. Uh, really? You're going to attack me? The hell. The hell. And a nice change of pace, Cecil gets another level, because that guy needs levels. And I have a cat playing in a plastic bag, because it apparently enjoys breath play. What the hell, cat? Is there anything? Uh, can't even get in there. Yeah, that just sure cuts us out of the floor. I'm going to have to go back around. Yay for going back around. Oh my god, it's an Urkel worm. Oh my god. It's using wave. Yikes. Hey, somehow missed 
Porum, who apparently is on higher ground? How did the wave possibly miss him? That seems ridiculous. That seems utterly absurd. Why would you do this game? That's ridiculous. Some of those hit-all attacks like that don't always hit all. I'm not sure the, the logic or reasoning, specious or otherwise, that goes into that, but there you go. Wow, the Aqua Worm's got a lot of hit points. There you go, jeez. It really was trying to stay alive. I appreciate its candor and valor, and Candace and Bedusians and, and, and other words and things that are made up, and uh, you get the idea. The idea you're getting is that I have a brain aneurysm, and that it seems very plausible. In all honesty. Now you're on land. You're on my turf now, biatch. Yeah, the wave from on land didn't do, like, any amount of damage. So I guess if you fight them on land, it's not as effective. That's kind of cool. Or maybe just because it sucks? I don't know. It really didn't seem to do a whole lot to me. I think they were, like, just ones dropped across the board. Kind of weird. Kind of really weird, you know? Oh, Electfish. Electfish? What's, what's your deal, guys? I'm not sure what their deal is going to be. I'm not going to use electrical, though. I think just, just seem to think that'd probably be a bad idea. Let's try some ice, I guess? Let's try some ice. And hell, if nothing else, I could show off Tella's, like, Ice 3 or some junk, I suppose. No, I can't. I've actually used up too much of his magic points. You gotta remember, the Tella just can't blow through his magic like mad. He's only got 90 magic points. For some reason, they decided he shouldn't have a whole lot of magic points. Like, they didn't want him just using Meteo like a jerk face. Yeah, they give him the spell, but you can never use it with him. Well, it didn't seem to do a ton of damage, but it took out the back back door Sally there, at least. Oh, Cecil gets a level. And he learned Cure 2. About time. Yang gets a level. That's two for Yang already. Excellent. And we got a leather jerk and something to sell for some cake. Even better. Alright, how we doing here on the, the front of people? Uh, yeah, you definitely need one. He's doing a shockingly amount, like, Nice. I should have secured two there, but oh well. That's fine, guys. I'm okay with it if you are. And if you're not okay with it, well, I get my cat run into something and damn near knock it over. Jesus, cat. All of the piss and vinegar. A life. Life push. All the way from life push. Oh, I could have come down here and just avoided the whole rigmarole going back. Oh well. Oh, I don't know about this, guys. Don't know about this at all. And we'll say this that twin magic still packs a punch. They rained comets down upon them. Definitely better than Flare, I'd have to say, on average. Uh-oh, we're on their turf this time. Palum gets a level, learns Virus, nice! Virus is an awesome spell. And Exit, also nice. Virus is the one that, that I really, really like. I think it's 20 magic points of use, which makes it a little heavy, but it's like a, it's a non-elemental, which is a big deal. It, it allows you to, uh, you know, do stuff. Like stuff like stuff and junk and stuff. Uh, yeah, so it hurts for good damage, like around the level twos of the elementals on pretty much anybody, but it also then drains their hit points little by little. It's an awesome spell. And it makes an amazing noise, too. But anyway, you've seen these guys. You know what they they got in the, in the tank. Not much, other than my butt butt. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so. I think this has a spot for us to save. And it also have a, uh, have a first in here as well. Yes, right over here is a thing that's hidden in the wall. Not very well, of course, but it's here. Found an ancient sword. No, okay, it's not what I thought. I thought this was going to be our first encounter where we have to fight monsters in a box. But no, it's not. Oh, my. So let's use a tent and go to sleep. Go right to bed. It's going to be great. So great. That's what I hear anyway. Alright, so I think that'll do it for today. Join us next time when we will push onwards into the Castle Baron.